it's been a month since my last video except the one from last week just because it was Valentine's Day but like a real real video I haven't been able to actually upload it till now and the reason being yes it's because of school but also because like you know it's been a really hard couple of months because I've been like kind of burnt out <laughs> by making videos and DIYs because I just don't know what to do uh, at the moment I also have uh, like other stuff like sometimes I prioritize my own life instead of like you know, making my own videos but I've kind of missed making them it's just sometimes now I'm I'm having I'm like trying to find like new inspiration and try to film when I actually am inspired and then uh, yesterday I was thinking hey you know should I add another kind of catalog in my uh, con survival guide so this time i'm going to be talking about meeting your guest of honor at the convention you're going to attend and some of the things might be self-explanatory uh but when i first went to my first anime i missed out on a lot of stuff because i didn't know what to do and no one could direct me where to go and how to actually meet the people that I wanted to meet in terms of the guests that were coming so if you're one of those people or going to your first convention or your first meet and greet I'm here to help you so with that let us get so first we're gonna be going to the logistics of actually meeting the person you want to meet if you're going to a convention of course they will release a schedule and with that, always look at that schedule. Uh, this is one of the schedule books that I have uh, from Fanime where it has all the schedules of all the panels and all of the signings, anything you can find. But most of these are out before the actual thing happens also. So the schedules will be posted online hopefully for a week before the convention. And with that, always plan ahead and find out which uh, days or the signings and the panels what time they are in the convention and that seems self-explanatory but maybe one day you don't realize that the person or the guest of honor is not going to be coming on that day and that just so happens to be the day that you decide to plan your adventure to go search out for them on the Saturday and it's the Saturday they're not coming uh, which has happened sometimes to me because I just wasn't going that day so it's hard to meet your idol if you're not on their same like vicinity. So the second tip in this logistic portion is find out if the signing or the meeting for this person is paid or an unpaid slash raffle uh, situation. So when it comes to paid, usually you have to pay either beforehand or during the lineup when you're actually going to meet the per said person. I know for the paid, sometimes they collect it in the front and I'm pretty sure you can't like charge them my credit card so make sure to bring cash if it is in that in line. And it's important to know uh, mainly because you don't want to be wasting your time if it's not so important or you don't have the cash on you to actually go pay for that. But it also uh, helps you kind of situate like, how you're going to go around your convention uh, budgeting. Um, for me, I've only had one paid experience uh, and that was with uh, Yuya Matsushita and that we had to spend $25 of merch uh, in order to get a picture with him and you know I like swooped out on that chance because it's not that expensive and Yuya was someone where I was not like like it doesn't matter like I, I will go spend that $25 however it also is a factor in if you want to see that person or not some of these uh, meet and greets and these autographs are very expensive example for like things like Comic Con if you're gonna meet somebody like let's just say Grant Gustin from The Flash because he was actually at Silicon Valley Comic Con where I was planning to attend and I was planning to meet him even though I wasn't a big fan I thought it might be a good thing to actually go and meet him because I was planning to watch The Flash and I never got to it but then when I looked up how much it is to get a picture and an autograph for him the photo ops was $80 and then the <laughs> autograph for him is also $80 so I was like um no 
because he was an artist, I would rather spend that $160 on someone that I actually wanted to really see. Like if he was Michael Fassbender, I would have gotten that. Uh, but one of the pro sides with getting a, a paid photo op or autograph is that you most likely have the guarantee to get a spot. So because you paid for it, you have a guarantee to actually go meet that person. As opposed to unpaid and raffles, unpaid and raffles are about the same thing in that raffles are just that you put in a ticket, they call your number, you get to go and meet the person you want to meet. Uh, the only thing I can think of right now is when the Yuri on Ice creators came to Anna's Anime Expo and a lot of fans wanted to meet them. I think people purchase tickets or something. I don't remember. I just know that they put their ticket into the raffle and then Crunchyroll like raffled them and whatever tickets they pulled out and if they called your ticket you would be able to go and meet the Yuri on Ice creators. I believe if they, I don't remember if it's unpaid or paid but there's sometimes where there's raffles like that um, and for that sometimes the raffles will happen before the actual like calling occurs so you have to be in tune to what the situation is do you have to buy a, a raffle ticket or apply for a raffle ticket for like can you do it on the spot kind of thing and the other time is also the unpaid portion where it's not really a raffle ticket but you just wait in line waiting in line is a fun thing because you get to meet other people that want to meet your guest of honor but just be sure that you don't you get there early because of lines and you don't want to be late because it is a first come first serve basis so if you come there late and they cut off the line you're not gonna meet that person so backpacking on back uh, there is also the lining up etiquette if you are going to an unpaid signing and an unpaid photo op be sure to go check your convention if they have any rules or regulations when it comes to autographs photo ops like lining wise because when I was at Fanime they would allow you to line up in lines two hours before the actual signing occurred but then it got into the confusion of like oh yeah no I'm not waiting this line I'm waiting for this so and so person so that's why Fanime I believe changed that policy in that you can't wait for an event until 30 minutes after which sucks because if you're waiting there for two hours like you wasted like one hour and 30 minutes of your time but it also comes to the conundrum of you don't want to also be there exactly 30 minutes so like just wave around the area for probably around an hour and then be the first one in that line when they allow it and then once you're in that line you probably would have to have something to sign I'm pretty sure you already have things to sign the program book that you go to a convention is usually a best way to sign at least for um, for artists this is one I've got from Ruki the Punk because I didn't really know them that well but I wanted to get some of their songs and listen for them myself but I didn't have like CDs in hand from them so I got them to sign the program booklet which is a nice thing to sign and so you almost like have a signature book like you would have in Disneyland or you can get posters I usually get CDs because most of the time it's the music artists that I'm really into this one's from Dice and this one's from X4 um, most of the time they're okay with signing anything when I mean signing anything, not your body, not something weird, but like, you know, shikishi boards, uh, t-shirts, posters, uh, program booklets, CDs that they are in. But sometimes you might need to double check that fact because some artists are very like strict on like, oh, I can only sign official merchandise that I've made because I've been in that experience and thank god I actually bought a CD from that experience which was LMC because they were like we will only sign official posters that we've sold, official t-shirts that we sold, official CDs that we sold, nothing else. <laughs> it's helpful to know that before if you can know whether or not an artist is willing to sign something that you bring. So moving off from the logistics into the actual etiquette, uh, this one's the more self-explanatory ones as opposed to the other ones. Um, so first we're going to be talking about gifts to give the artists. Um, 
were mainly a lot of the gifts that I've seen given to like voice actors and guests of honor. They will take it before you even go up to them. At least for the Japanese ones that I've met, they have their certain boxes that their managers hover in front so that you can place it for the, each member because it's going to take a long time for you to give that gift to him personally. Usually there's going to be rovers around and then you can ask if you can give to the artist personally or you have to put it in a box that a person has designated because for a lot of the boy bands and other bands that's they have their designated they have their designated box. Um, uh, when I gave something to you in Matsuda, I gave him I gave this stuff I wanted to give the stuff directly to him but all the gifts were directed to his manager who was at the side of him so he could see that people were giving gifts to him but that he he didn't personally hold them at that moment when he was signing and what kind of gift you give them is mostly okay one of the things that is really restricted is food most food if not all food is banned to give to people not because they don't probably they you they don't like your cooking but it's mainly a health reason like yeah i know where your grandma's cooking is might be bomb af but you wouldn't want they're not gonna allow you to give it to your favorite artist because of safety reasons like what happens if you put something in there that will ultimately make them throw up and like make them miss the rest of the con or maybe they're just not reacting it to it that well in the terms of health and it might not be completely your fault it might be just because they just are lactose intolerant and they didn't know and then they got sick uh, but or you might be one of those crazy fans that try to hurt them to show your love so most of the time food is not allowed to be given as gifts to individuals. I don't know per se if it's wrapped in a like you give them a crunch bar and that's already been produced by somebody else. Um, I'm not completely sure about that but most of the times they just don't allow food. Now moving on to the messages. When you're in a signing for an autograph, most of the time the messages have to be short because they also have to sign the other people's stuff and you don't want to be the one that holds up the line and they will probably personally ask you to like thank you and then move uh, if not them personally the people around them will ask you to like okay get moving because you can't tell them your whole life story in five seconds and if you don't say anything also, that is okay because you're going to be probably starstruck that you met them. I know I've been there. I've made a video about it where I was planning to say all these things. But when you actually get to the point, you all you forget it all. <laughs> but if for events such as question and answers, of course, those questions will be longer. But also make questions that are not too obvious that you can find on Wikipedia. Uh, but also at the same time, don't make it so personal that they, you make them uncomfortable. Uh, most of the times in the question and answers, they'll ask you what questions to refrain from or what questions have already been asked. I know personally for me, there when we had the boy bands come to Fanime like Dice and X4, the person that was in charge literally said to us, so they're going to be here for 30 or an hour. Please don't ask them about their personal lives. Please don't ask them, of course, that means please don't ask them about their love lives and girlfriends if they have them because we will shut those questions down. So they were really serious about that. So also when you're formulating your questions, make them short and make them not personal. <laughs> so. Now we're gonna go move on because I was really interrupted by my camp. And this is the final point, so the thing, the big question is what do you do if you see the artist or the voice actor or, or the guest of honor that you've been dying to meet outside? And when I mean outside, I mean apart from their, you know, their set panels, their set autographs, you're just walking around the convention and you see them in the distance. Of course, don't go running up to them. Uh, of course, go there calmly and ask them. If you are going to ask them, 
to ask for a picture or an autograph. At that point, if they say yes, then just take that autograph, take that picture, if they do allow it. But if they say no, don't push it. <laughs> don't push it. And it's not, it's not, it's most likely not you, it's, it's them in that they probably need to go to rehearsal for that concert they're going to have later at that night. Or they need to get to that panel that you're going to go to in three hours. Or they need to get lunch before they actually have this two hour long uh, signing. So don't take it personally when they said no. And sometimes it's not even them. So some voice actors, some artists, and some guests of honor really, really do want to take that picture with you or take that autograph with you. It's just so that their management doesn't watch them to take that picture with you or that autograph for you. Mainly because crowd control reasons, if that one person if that one person gets an autograph, then what's to say that a second person won't come around to ask for the same thing and a third person or a fourth person and then you got a whole crowd of people white, like unofficially getting an autograph, you know? Um, so I'm going to pull another example from X4 and if I'm bringing a lot of examples from that band it's because that's the most recent band I've seen and it's just really fresh in my memory. I knew all the members really wanted to take pictures and autograph stuff for all of the people that met them on the streets. I was trying to find them but so with X4 I knew a lot of the members as a whole they really wanted to take pictures with fans and they did so with some of them like it was like a, it was a random thing it wasn't just because of like oh this fan is prettier so I'll take a picture with that fan and like stuff like that mainly it was sporadic of who they chose to take pictures with when they saw them on the street mainly because it was their manager physically telling them to say no to all their fans because I know a lot of people were turned away from X4 because their manager was nearby and then, you know, no, you, you can't, you can't, even though I know you want to, they didn't want X4 to take pictures with their fans, even though they were happy to. So don't take it personally if a person doesn't, if the guest of honor says no to your requests outside of their given panels and and signings it's nothing against you it's most likely because of them and their schedule or them and their rules between them and their managers um so with that i hope that explained things clearer i don't know i practiced this and i had to re-record it because my camera cut this off on like the 20 minute mark so i hopefully explained everything to a T if I didn't which I probably didn't go ahead and leave me a comment down below and if you have any questions about that kind of more pro uh, process of like meeting your friends and meeting your friends meeting the guest at the convention don't be afraid to ask I won't say I'm an expert but I just have experienced <laughs> let's say of trying of meeting these people and that's because I'm the trial and error and I hopefully you don't you guys don't do trial and error like I did. So with that, thank you so much you guys for watching this video and we'll see I will see you. I'll see you next time. Bye!